Hi guys, um, I was just getting ready to clean my cooktop, my glass cooktop, and I thought, you know, I'm going to film this because some people don't know how to do it. When I first got my cooktop, I didn't know how to clean it, and that was the very first question that I asked when purchasing it. Um, how do you clean it? Because I, anybody that knows me knows that I love to cook. Um, I love making new, new recipes and trying out new recipes and... But the thing is, is I like to boil over <laughs> every single time. And I loved the idea of having a cooktop. I just didn't know how to clean it, and I wanted to make sure I did. And so um, they told me what to do, and I've been doing it ever since, and it works like a charm. Here is what time. you'll need. You'll need a wet rag, a scraping blade, some glass top or glass cooktop cleaner. I get this at Walmart. This bottle is the bottle I bought when I first got my stove almost nine years ago. So it lasts forever. Um, one microfiber cloth or a paper towel, whichever you want. Or if you have a defective cooktop like I do, I'll explain in a minute. You will need two microfiber cloths and some Windex or window cleaner of your choice. Okay, so the very first thing I do is I take my scraping blade and I come over and I very gently scrape away. I did not clean my stove ahead of time. I was getting ready to clean it when I realized that this could probably, I don't have a lot on there, but you will be able to see it when I wipe up my rag. So, let's see here. Right here, do you see these? My husband is a tea drinker in the winter time. And not too long after we first got the stove, he was making tea and you'll see here, let's see, I'm trying to wipe off my there, there's some on the rag. That's gross. I'll just flip my rag over. And then wipe it all down. Um, my teapot didn't have a whistle on it. So he burnt the teapot. He, he turned on the teapot and walked away and forgot about it. And it burnt to my cooktop. And so you see all these, like, we had to, like, pry it off. <laughs> And it took part of the glass with it, the enamel did, on the teapot. So, then what you do is you just put a little bit of this on, just a little bit. That's all you need. Let's see if I can step away. It's just a tiny bit. On one side of your microfiber cloth, just rub it in and let it dry for a few minutes. You can see it's going to turn into like a foggy haze. And now that stuff is really going, it's not showing up on camera very well, but it's very white in the, the cracks. So that is why I need to do, when I buff this stuff off, it is going to stay in those little cracks. So that's why I need to do the last step of the glass cleaner and the microfiber cloth to get the white out of the grooves. Now as you can see, there, <laughs> it's dry. And I just flip my cloth so that the wet portion is on the inside. Whoop, there you go. And then I buff it out. And sometimes, if I haven't done it in a while, I have to do it a couple of times. And I might have to do it a couple of times this time. Because it's been a while. But you can see, I've got some streaks. Then what I need to do is, I just got it all buffed out, and now I just need to get the, the polish out of the little grooves. And can you see, let's see. You can still see them, but they look better. Yeah. 
And that is how you clean a glass cooktop. I'll put my spoon rest back up. You can see it's sparkling and clean. What is that looking weird over there? Oh, it's the reflection. <laughs> there you are. Thanks for watching, guys.